Hey guys, it's Bryony. So today's video is a little bit different than usual, although it is still based on cloth and environmentally friendly products. So I'm talking about cloth nappies today. If you don't know what they are, they're pretty similar to cloth menstrual pads in the sense that they are an alternative to disposable nappies. Uh, and they don't pollute the environment as much, they can save a bit of money, they're better for um, the children's health because they don't have all those chemicals soaked to them. There's loads and loads of benefits to using cloth nappies, but today I'm just going to show you what you can get in a cloth nappy library box. So a cloth nappy library is basically a service that you can use to try out multiple different types of cloth nappies by borrowing them for a month without having to spend money. You do have to leave a deposit on I think almost all cloth nappy libraries. Everyone's different though, depending on where you live, there'll be different cloth nappy libraries near you. Um, you'll leave a deposit, but obviously you get that back afterwards. So typically you'll borrow the nappies for a month or two and you get to try out all the different styles and see which one works best for you, which is a great advantage. Sorry, if my phone goes off, by the way, throughout this um, video, I am trying to wait for an urgent call. Um, so you could try out all the different types out there and see which one works best for you without having to spend the money because the biggest um, expense of cloth pads is the initial investment, but after you've bought them, they can last you from birth to potty, most of them, some of them even multiple children. So, you know, they are an investment, but very worthwhile. And if you get to test out the different types on the market, then you get a better sense of what's going to work best for you and your family. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the box. I've tried to organise all the nappies kind of based on their style. And this is a potty training box because I originally got this for Ube, who was a little um, three-year-old refugee boy who was staying with me with his mother um, for a while. And he used these to help him potty train. He's gone now, but I do still see him sometimes for years, occasionally in these. But I'm about to send them back. Um, so this is the box that you get. So it's not huge, but it is, it's got a decent amount in there. And in the box, you also get a bunch of leaflets, some with like discount codes and everything, information on the cloth nappies, different companies, all that kind of stuff, and um, lots of info in there. And then you also get this sheet, which has... Um, oh, has washing instructions, nappy ration instructions, um, a list of all the different products you um, nappies you have in here. So if you find one you really like, you can look up what it is, and also the terms and conditions to the agreement. So I've had this for two months now. In the box, they all come in a tot spot, which is a brand of cloth nappy tot spot bag like this, and they also give you a small wet bag. This is just a drawstring wet bag. Personally, I prefer zipper wet bags. I think they're better, but you know, this is just an example for you know what one is. So you know, it's got a waterproof lining in there. You can fit probably about two or three dirty nappies in that when you're out and about. So that's good. Right. So onto the nappies themselves. I'm going to start with the training pants first because that's mainly what I use for Vube. There are a few um, heavy, like nighttime uh, absorbency nappies in here because he did still wear nappies at night. In fact, he does still wear nappies at night. So this is a unnamed as far as I can tell, it probably will tell me in here somewhere, I'm tempted to say motheries or cloth bottoms, just training pants, so it's basically just like a waterproof fabric on the outside and toweling on the inside. I'm not a big fan of this one because it feels quite scratchy. This is a bright bots, just a pair of training underwear. These ones I quite liked because they've got toweling on the inside. They have also got well, I think you can hear in there, but they've got a bit of toweling in here, so if there's a few drips or accidents, they'll hold on to that, but they won't hold a full pee. Then I have here, I think I've got three of those bright bots. This is a, I can never remember the name of this one, uh, it's in this uh, super undies, the smaller size. Um, this one has the pop out style, so basically, when you put them in the washing machine, they will automatically pull out by themselves. Personally, I would also just leave this out on top because this is a like a bamboo terry, which I think putting the terry fabric as opposed to a wicking fabric next to their skin helps them to feel wet and encourage them to actually know when they're going to the toilet, which is pretty useful for training um, when they are obviously learning to use the potty. So that's that one. And then there's a bigger size here, so she gave me multiple sizes to try. This one I don't like as much because it's only got like the wicking fabric in it. And again, I don't feel like they find it as easy to feel when they're wet. So it's not as effective as a trainer. This is an, a tot spots one. Again, it's got the wicking fabric on the inside. So I wasn't as big a fan of this one. This is like a China cheapy. Um, it doesn't tell me which brand it is in here. But um, inside it's suede cloth, which is another wicking fabric. 
uh, again to keep you dry but I don't think it's as effective in these um, training pads. This is just a snap down option so if you have a smaller child you can obviously put these down and shrink the size to make it fit etc. Um, so the next one is the Tots Bots. Uh, again it's got the wicking fabric in it. Uh, there's another pair of underwear that's just got a toweling. This is my favourite kind because it feels most similar to underwear with just a little bit of protection in there. Um, this was the one that Uwe, when he was posh training, he tended to um, pee less in these because it felt more like actual underwear and we made very clear to him that you know you can't go to the toilet in these, you have to go to the toilet for that. Um, this is a Mother Ease, I think, one. This one's quite scratchy though, I'm not a big fan of this and it's quite big. Uh, then the other one is, oh yeah, most of these have, this is Cotton Bottoms trainer pants. This one feels alright actually, though it is still kind of like a scratchy P.U.L. Um, most of these have been used, a couple of them are new, so you have to, you have to pre-wash them before you use them. But again, like, you can wash them really thoroughly, uh, cloth nappies, you can wash up to 60 degrees, so, you know, you're absolutely fine with them. That's another Bright Bots pair of underwear, again, I like those ones with him. Uh, this is another Tots Bots. This one... It's again normal ones, he loved this one, we called it Frog. Take a guess why. And then some Bright Bot, I think that's the last one in there as well. So those were like the training pants, I'm just going to move them onto the floor down here so I've got some more room. Then I will go on to another, this is sort of a semi training pants slash nappy style. Um, so these ones can be stretched to pull up, this is a Grovier to pull up like a pair of underwear but they've got proper nappy absorbency in them and you can also unsnap them if you want to change them lying down or something like that. Um, this one I'm not as much a fan of because again it's got the wicking fabric inside but it has got a pull out tongue so you could essentially um, pull the tongue out of it and lay it on top so that it did have the wet fabric, the fabric that feels wet against them. I think it's just a toweling in this one. I seem to remember Gravier do hemp, but I could have that wrong, it's also twisted in there, I only saw that out. Um, and the other one I have is the Bum Genius Flip version, which is very similar to the Gravier one. Again, stretchy here to pull up like underwear, but you can undo them with the poppers on the side. This one I think is better because it has bamboo, hang on, let me just undo it, has the bamboo fabric here, um, and you can fold it whichever way you want. If you've got a boy, you can put more absorbency at the front and stuff. Definitely worth doing, trust me. That's where all the pee goes with the little boys. So, um, yeah, this one was quite good if I remember rightly. Um, he didn't fuss with this one. Some of them he did find a bit uncomfortable, but this one he was okay with. Then I have a few covers. There were just three because, like I said, most of them were training pants um, and the other ones uh, just were night nappies. So we have a... This is a We Notions cover, actually, which I was very excited about because We Notions are known for being quite good. Although, sadly, um, Uwe really did not like this one. It's just a bit too small for him once we'd fully, like, boosted his nappies and everything. And there are some boosters in this kit as well. Um, I'm just going very briefly over these, I know. But, you know, it has got good leg elastic and stuff. It just dug in here for him. So he didn't really like the, the monkey one as much. But the other two were okay. So this is a mother care one. Uh, this is just the medium, I think. It's just Velcro tabs. And it also has, like, a... a insert that you can put into it. That didn't come in this kit, but I have some of them from my own mother care kits um, that I've watched. One of the first cloth nappies I ever bought, actually, about four years ago, four or five years ago now, um, which I used on him a couple of times. And this is a Little Lamb. Little Lamb are quite good because they're a very cheap brand of cloth nappies. This actually was probably his favourite out of all of the these three um, wraps that we had and I was a bit skeptical about these wraps because they don't have a um, wash tab where you would usually stick this down so that it doesn't stick to everything else in the wash but I mean it was okay it's not that difficult to put it apart from other stuff um, but it worked well as a cover and it's very very simple to use it's got gussets and everything did the job and it was actually his most favorite because um, it was the most comfortable then I think I'm moving on to the actual uh, fitted nappies a fitted nappy is a nappy that has all the absorbency but no waterproofing on it so you need to use a cover like this with it. So this is the Snuggle Banks, this is like a super absorbent nappy um, with Velcro, this is what I mean by a wash tab, it's got an extra tab that you fold the wings on to stick to, has a lot of absorbency in it um, but sadly this was just too small for Ube, um, he didn't fit it so we never got to use this one, this is more on the smaller side even though I think this is the extra large 
Then I have two little lambs. I think one of them is a size two and one of them is a size three, but they're both the, one of them feels horrible in my hands, um, which would usually mean that it would be the microfiber, but this is actually the bamboo one. So I think I just need to wash it a bit better. And then this is another bamboo one. This is the bigger size. And then finally, the fitted nappies. This is the Ella, I can never remember the name of this one. This is the Ella's House Extra Large Fitted Nappy. You can also like add extra absorbency. In the front pocket is open so you can stuff some more in there if um, you've got a really heavy wetter. This is a hybrid, if I remember rightly, because it's fleece. Fleece resists moisture, but it doesn't completely um, block it out. So if you have a child that's very sensitive to PUL, hybrids are an option for you. Um, but you can also use this with a cover over the top as like a double whammy um, backup. These are usually bulletproof. Um, he didn't mind wearing this one at night actually, but it was again a little bit on the small side for him. Uh, he was he was three and a half when he potty trained, but he was late on his development, so he's more actually that of a two and a half to three year old, probably average height sort of size wise. Um, and he did fit into these, it just was a bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, and then finally I have the boosters and the liners. So this is a fleece liner. You use a fleece liner inside a cloth nappy for um, poo. Basically you can then shake it off into the toilet rather than using a disposable liner. Um, these are more eco-friendly because you have to keep buying them. It's another one. Again, I didn't use these because fleece is also moisture. Um, it takes the moisture away from their body so they don't feel as wet. So I don't like using them in that. Then I have a couple, I think, of hemp boosters in here. There's a few here, some more here. I think some of them might actually be stuffed in some of the nappies. And also um, a terry booster, which again, there's another one in a nappy here somewhere. So that is what you receive in a cloth nappy library box. I hope this was useful for those of you who have children or are thinking about having kids in the future to know that you can get these services. If you have a particular nappy as well that you really want to try, you can always ask them and see if they have one. They might be able to include it in the kit for you so you can try it out, see if it works for you and see how it works for you in your month um, that you tried out, if, if it fits in your life and all that kind of stuff because it's very important. And everybody likes different nappies. Personally, I like the fitted and the uh, covers the best. You can also ask for pre-folds if you would need that as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe. I'll leave some more information down below about these um, cloth library libraries, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.